down to water, air, how much waste disposal can be done in an environment friendly manner. And we are also looking here for energy, how to reduce the energy consumption. So that's the program that we Acting the responsible world citizens, setting examples for others to follow. Exchanging notes on studies conducted and community projects implemented in their respective environments. So that everyone can go, uh, use public transport of solid and liquid human waste, and which, in which solid waste is used are the manure. Getting the opportunity to learn and exchange ideas with experts from India's leading centers of learning. In other um, countries. So, the first. Um, and firstly, it is due to coin fashion. Uh, this is our founder, chairman, founder president, Dr. Chauhan. And he strongly feels that. So, in the introduction by uh, that you uh, people, Africa also, and Zambia, top countries, uh, 10 countries uh, who are. Are actually there. <laughs> yeah, so this is rice. This is my first time to see rice. This is rice? Yeah. yeah. I can imagine I've never seen rice before. Yeah. A rice plant. <laughs> we have demonstration unit, a bomb compost unit right on the corner of this but in this farm. The plant in the process. And uh, as you can see on your back, you can see a zero energy cool chamber. This is a uh, chamber that was built under Bill and Gates Melinda Foundation. Uh, we have developed on this farm three cropping systems. One is your cereal based cropping system, then fodder based cropping system and vegetables based cropping system. So these are the studies that we are carrying out. Uh, we are also uh, having some trials on the screening of some fungus being discovered by one of our institutes and a global patent has been filed for their fungus. Okay, you can view it from uh, a nearer distance and you can see so it is just drops of water that is cooling the whole chamber. So, uh, these are the, you can again see the amla trees. These three layers of trees are surrounding the whole farm. The roots contain beneficial microorganisms and you have a synaphetida. Once it has been digested, it is prepared, you can use vermicompost as a soil fertilizer. And you can see leading fertilizer. These are compatible to hashtags. We can go to the vermicompost unit quickly.
and soon enough one is getting into the rhythm and soul of India with its many regional flavors. The measure of a venture's success is in its reach when the ambassador of your country wants a personal audience with you to help take the message of responsible global citizenry to countries far and wide. There is no doubt that sincere hard work and persistence is paying off. Your visit to India is a very important one as it gives you an opportunity to interact and learn from your peers 
best practices on matters of environment and social responsibility. <coughs> the Green Contributor Program is therefore an appropriate initiative in our living time. This is because the world is contending with the serious environmental problems, foremost of which is climate change, which requires the attention of all of us in order to reverse its adverse effects. Climate change has a direct bearing to only, not only to our atmospheric sphere, but also on food security, health, energy, and many other aspects of human life. It's therefore important that the battle of addressing causes of climate change is fought by each and every one of us. To deal with such issues, we need young people like you to be part of the crusade of tackling human activities and attitudes that contribute to environmental degradation. It's gratifying, therefore, that you, young people of this team, are not only sitting on your rails, but actively playing a role in the nurturing our environment in one way or another. This environmental stewardship should continue as you are the future of tomorrow. As you interact with your colleagues here in India, please ensure that while sharing your experiences with them, you also pick up valuable lessons that will enhance your knowledge and skills in protecting the environment. Let me end by thanking the organizers of this trip for a job very well done. The time and the money they have invested in this program are worth it because the benefits that will accrue from the exposure given to you, young people, are long term and transboundary in India. Since you are all Zambians, may I say, Ziko Mokwambiri, Murungu Akutari Seni. This is, after all, a world that will be inherited by today's young. So, it is only right that they start taking the reins into their own hands and charter a new course. Um, from your experience, what are the common points that you see in both Zambia and India? How, in this case, um, the king contributed um, saving, trying to save the world, change the world, how do you think we could do that? Uh, what can you compare that is similar to Zambia, the problems that we're facing in this country, as well as in Zambia? What is it that we have in common? So many things that we have in common between Zambia and India. I will give a few. Zambia and India come from the same political background, political <coughs> history. Because India has moved faster than Zambia, Zambia depends on, on India on certain programs which we are now involved in. Uh, as you are aware that at one stage, Zambia was a mono economy. Zambia was depending on copper. And when copper prices became difficult to promote the economy of the country, we started now diversifying, getting into agriculture. Now, we have Indian companies that are in Zambia. Some of them are continuing with our copper mines. The Konkona copper mines is being run by Indian companies and they are doing so well. The uh, management have uh, employed Zambians that are working in there, therefore giving Zambians the jobs. And then we have also now, uh, uh, we are being assisted by the, some of the Zambian companies that have gone into agriculture. We have a lot of Indian companies that are actually doing farming in, in, in Zambia. So, we are moving politically. We 
are assisting each other at the United Nations, we do support each other. So really, in summary, Zambia and India are working very hard to ensure that we upgrade the health standards of our people, education, uh, we also alleviate or eradicate, if we can, poverty and also hunger, which are the main elements in human life. So we we'll work together to ensure that we do this. And we are here as a mission to ensure that we promote these programs. We know where we need the Indian help uh, most, and then we advise our government accordingly to ensure that we do um, carry out or carry on these programs of health, <coughs> education, agriculture, and what have you. First step has been taken by the young. This is a Roma Side production.